Hey everyone, today I'm going to react to one of my old top 5 Wednesday videos. So for May, the host of Top 5 Wednesday has done this Top 5 Wednesday Rewind because she is super busy at the moment, so she didn't really have any new topics for the month. And then she just announced that everybody could kind of catch up on old topics that maybe they wanted to do but couldn't do or didn't have time for whatever. And I decided to use this Rewind idea to do one of my Revisit episodes. If you haven't seen them, I did Revisiting My Old Favorites videos where I I would watch my top books of the year videos and would kind of react to them and how I would feel about the books now and so I thought for this month of top 5 rewind we would watch an old top 5 Wednesday video of mine and I have actually found a video that is called the top 5 books I finally want to read in 2017 now it's been a couple months 2017 is already you know well and gone. We're almost halfway through 2018. But I thought it would still be a fun idea to look at what is on that list and if I have actually read it or not. And yeah, I thought it would just be cool because I've been wanting to do one of those revisiting videos again, but then also it fits somehow. And obviously it's very different, but I thought it somehow fit with, you know, this kind of themed month of top five Wednesdays. So yeah, I think we're just gonna get into it. I gotta say, I'm not sure what's gonna be in here. I think from the thumbnail, I could see that one of the books was Legend by Mary Lou. But other than that, I'm really not sure what's on here because I think I did a plans for 2017 video. So I'm not quite sure um, like what my actual top five that I wanted to read last year were. So I'm very interested to see. Today's topic are your top five books you finally want to read in 2017. And I did a kind of reading goals for 2016 video. And my goals for 2017 are basically the same ones because I definitely didn't get to everything thing that I wanted to get to so I will not be doing a like reading goals of 2017 video but there are definitely a few books that I want to prioritize. I did not realize that that plans video was that far back because I know which video I'm talking about but I thought that that was a plans for 2017 video. Okay time what what is it so i thought this was a really fun topic to just kind of you know get this out there motivate myself because it seems to be working really well i am gonna include only books that i own except for one but that is kind of a oh. classic oh no i know what the one is gonna be that i don't own <laughs> Shit, i remember uh oh if i would have gone through my whole wish list then this would have been like a top 50. So I'm just gonna go for books that I own, except for this one classic, but it is a classic that is basically on my mind almost constantly and that I could get for really cheap on Kindle any minute. So it's kind of like an exception. My number five is Poison Study by Maria V. Snyder. Has been on my wish list for a really, really long time and I actually have been owning it on my Kindle for I guess a year or something. I think it is a trilogy that definitely a lot of people on booktube have read but it's not something that gets a lot of hype i think often people have read it before they joined booktube but i know that many people really really enjoyed this trilogy it's just not something that many people talk about anymore i'm thinking that i will really enjoy it i have heard some of my friends say really great things about it so i definitely hope to get to it this year so excited like this was a surprise like a total surprise i did not expect this book to be on here and it took me very long to actually get to it i'm not exactly sure when i read poison study but i know it wasn't i'm sure it was in 2017 but i'm also sure it wasn't that long ago so definitely cut it close but you know i made it i read it i also did not like it as much as I wanted to like it, but I fell in love with the characters and the world. I just thought the writing was slow. So I still feel like a positive experience overall. Number four, we have the classic, and that is 1984 by George Orwell. Ugh. I just really want to read it because I really like dystopian fiction and I kind of feel like this is something that in general you should have read. It is just really important literature, but also because I enjoy the genre, I feel like it's something that I really should have read especially with like current situations in the world i feel like it's something it's that only getting is worse a girl. good 2017 read 1984 i 
still want to read it, but it's not one of those books, as I said in the beginning, that's like constantly on my mind, blah, 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 blah. I think it's a lot because I don't really read much dystopian anymore anyway. And I have a couple on my TBR that I really want to get to. So I feel like this one, because it's not on my actual TBR, I kind of forget about. But the other day I actually got the audiobook from Overdrive, then started listening to it and realized it was in Spanish. I had not realized it was in the English audiobook. So yeah, that kind of discouraged me. I'm, I, like, I kind of want to read it because I want to have read it. I want to have read one of those important dystopian books because I do still find the concept of dystopian literature so interesting. But at the same time, with all of the books that I own and all of the books that I want to read and all of the new releases that I'm constantly like looking at, it's not really something that I want to take time to read. So hopefully I can get the English audiobook eventually, then I'm sure I will read it. But for now, I guess that's a fail. <laughs> Three is Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. I have done it. Finally, <laughs> we're on to the year in which the final book in this series well, will come out. I remember that when Air of Fire came out, I said to Shannon from Cozy Tea Reads, I am not gonna pick this series up yet because I wanna wait until it's finished. Like, I still remember that moment when I said this in the comments to Shannon, but the thing is, like, okay, so I read this book, well, I tried reading it and DNF'd it about 50% into it or so, and that's why I kind of wish, like, on the one hand, I wish I had picked it up when I initially wrote that comment on Shannon's video, because I feel like I would have fallen in love with the series back then, but now I have so many things I want in a book, especially regarding the way characters are portrayed, that I just no longer feel comfortable with Throne of Glass. So like on the one hand I'm sad because if I had picked it up back then I might be in love with it now. On the other hand I'm really fucking glad because Sarah J Maas's books just seem to get more horrible and almost like less diverse and more problematic and what I read from some of these sex scenes just disgusts me so like I'm also just really fucking glad I never actually got invested in this series <laughs> and I just cannot believe that this series will be finished next year that's just absolutely crazy Didn't. to me I do think that I might not like this first one as much as other people do just because most people read this first book five years ago when they were way younger than they are now. My expectations are a little bit lower than they were when this book initially came out. Also just some controversy about Sarah J Maas have not had me super excited about reading this. I mean, I might end up absolutely loving it and hating myself for not starting it sooner. Then again, if I really end up loving it, I have my number two. The Fear Cross by Diana Gabaldon, it's still in its fucking wrapping. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I DNF'd it. I really did not like it. And it kind of just ruined my whole very positive Outlander memory. I wish I had never touched it. I should have given it away like back then. I should have trusted my gut feeling. I didn't, but yeah, it's far, far gone now already and I try not to think about it anymore. Oh, well, my number one is obvious now because I already saw it in a thumbnail. And finally, my number one is Legend by Mary Lou. I mean, this is like one of the dystopian series that I feel like is in a category with the Hunger Games with Divergent. So honestly, I don't understand why I haven't read it yet. True. I think it's still because I've kind of been spoiled on the third book. So I'm it like won't matter. already pissed off it won't because matter. I know what happens and I'm like, if I enjoy this book, then the third book will be absolute torture. So I want to read this whole trilogy in 2017. I'm just really looking forward to it. I know it's a must read. I know some of you there are probably like gasped when I hold this up. Like, how have I not read this yet? I don't know. Yeah, so I did end up reading Legend, but I did not read the rest of the trilogy because I was intensely overwhelmed and really didn't think Legend was very interesting. Like, I think I read it a year ago, around April, May in 2017, and honestly, like, I barely remember what happened. I barely remember anything about the world building. I just remember that I was really, really bored and I did not understand how this got so popular 
And so yeah, I DNF'd that series because I didn't think the first book was engaging enough, but I read it, so I did the thing. I hope I can finally get to these books and to all of the other books. I mean, just a few honorable mentions, The Unbecoming of Mara. This is so interesting. Okay, wait, let's go through this list. And if I remember, I'll tell you the star rating. The Unbecoming of Mara Daya, Under the Never Sky, DNF. Across the Universe, DNF. The Winner's Curse, Three stars. The Kiss of Deception. I mean, Four stars. all of the So yeah, I mean, honestly, these were just my honorable mentions, but I honestly cannot complain. So yeah, I think overall I did really, really well. I read most of these books or at least tried reading them. I do kind of count a DNF as a success as well because it means that I actually picked up the book. It didn't work out, that's fine, but I tried. So yeah, I'm honestly pleasantly surprised with this, but I did really try and kind of use 2017 for exactly that. Like I really wanted to finally get through some of these old YA series and trilogies that everybody had been hyping for years that I never got to for whatever reason because I was still catching up with so many other things, I guess. So I'm really, really happy. I feel like this is really successful and I'm glad that I got to share that with you. And yeah, let me know if there were any surprises or um, I can already like hear some of you yelling about Legend because I know that series is so beloved. It just wasn't for me. Maybe if I had read it like 10 years ago, whenever it came out, I would have loved it. But when I read it, I was just so underwhelmed. But yeah, overall, I'm just like, I'm having like good feelings. I'm in a happy mood right now because this went much better than I thought it would. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. I guess I'll see you soon. Bye.